There are three basic links in the LNG chain, the liquefaction plant, the LNG tanker for transportation, and the regasification terminal. In liquefaction plants, the natural gas is cooled to minus 160 Celsius until it becomes liquid. In liquid form, it takes up 600 times less space than its gaseous state. Natural gas goes through a succession of refrigerating cycles at increasingly lower temperatures. At the end of the process, the LNG can be transported in liquid form and under atmospheric pressure. It is then loaded into the LNG tanker for transport to the consumption zones. The tankers are fitted with a double hull and mostly powered by steam turbines. The internal tanks of an LNG tanker look like huge thermos flasks. An insulating interior lining keeps the gas liquid for transportation at minus 160 Celsius. At the end of the voyage, the tankers deliver the liquid gas to LNG terminals. Now the aim is to return the liquid to its original gaseous state. This operation is performed by passing the LNG through regasifiers where they are warmed using seawater or hot water. Natural gas is finally back in its gaseous state and can be injected into the transmission system for delivery to customers. Chains like this are generally set up when it would be too expensive to build pipelines, either because of the distances involved or on account of geopolitical or technical problems. The natural gas industry is working to increase the safety of every link of the LNG chain and reduce its impact on the environment.